guys, Skim137. Um, sorry this episode's a bit late, I've been busy with um, my footballing all this week. Because uh, I've trained Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays now. I play for South Yorkshire on Saturdays and I play for Stocksbridge on Sundays. So these videos may be getting, maybe delayed a few days. They may be uploaded a few days early. But this is volume 3 of uh, the goalkeeper news. Um, this one's not going to be about worldwide news. But something I've been asked quite a lot. Um, so what, what I'm going to talk about for this one is um, it's about gloves. About what what do I like in a glove? What what's my favourite brand of glove? How much would you recommend spending on a pair of gloves? Um, uh, I've got another video which I'm uploading. I believe will be either today or tomorrow about the uh, F line and golds that someone asked me a question on. And I thought I'd just do a short video on that. But what I'm going to talk about so. Firstly, going to talk about price. I, at my age now, I since I train as much as I do, I get through at least four or five pairs of gloves a season, just because of the constant amount of training and matches I play. Um, but for a young, a young goalkeeper, anything I'd say below fourteen, you're not going to be training more than twice a week. Or training once a week and then a match so that's two gloves a season so I would say you don't need to spend more than £30 £40 at max especially if you look at the com if you look at companies that aren't big if you don't if you shy away from the Nikes the Adidas the uh, if I'm honest Umbro now are getting quite expensive uh, all sport and all that kind of stuff the good, they are good gloves. Don't get me wrong. I don't. I would wear a pair if I got given them. But the lesser known companies like F Line, just for keepers, um, Top Hand Goalkeeping, Alert GK, they're all really well priced and they're all amazingly made gloves. Like I'll show you here. I've still got got my F Line N Go N Rolls, the um, newest ones, the gold colorway, and I've got the old Just for Keepers Pros. Use both of these this weekend. Wear and tear starting to show a little bit more in the F lines, but that's because I use them a bit more because these I'm now using for South Yorkshire and these I use for Stocksbridge. But there's still these gloves. I think with night the gloves without the embroidery on the wrist, nineteen ninety five, twenty quid, and these have lasted me since they first came out, which was I think about two, three, four months ago, and they're still going strong. Uh, yeah, admittedly, there's wear and tear on them, but I, I can't do anything about that. There's nothing, gloves are always going to wear and tear, regardless of how well you take care of them. But I see parents, like, some of the lads I train with, they're buying them gloves that are, like, 30 quid for one pair. And it's ridiculous. I don't see the point. Yeah, you may want your kids to have the best things, but the things that cost the most aren't necessarily the best thing. I mean, before I found out about Just For Keepers and um, F-Line, I was buying gloves from Nike. Admittedly, I liked using them because they were well made and good quality, but these gloves aren't any different. Yeah, they may be lower priced and not as well known, but they're just as good, if not, in my opinion, better. You may, you may disagree with me there and say, but I'm talking a load of crap just for keepers and F-Line aren't as good as Adidas and Full Sport and Umbro and Nike. But I prefer the lesser known brands. I'm starting, I'm going to start buying, but I'm definitely staying with gloves from low, lesser known brands now. Because they're just better quality. And the people you buy them off, so, it's so much easier to get them. Like, I can get the F-Lines in less than a week. Like they're not they're not in many shops. There's a few in Sheffield. The shops are in, but if I'm ordering them offline or if I talk to Stu on Twitter, he'll go, "Yeah, I'll send you a pair done and dusted two days," and I get a pair of quality gloves in less than a few days. Just for keepers, I know Ray. I've spoke to him quite a lot. There's a lot of videos he's he's got on YouTube. I'll put a link to his um, description down below. And I get them gloves in about a week, and I've got. I must have five or six pairs just for keepers, just with me now. Like, well, not exactly with me, right on my person, but in this room or in my house, I've got about four, five or six pairs, because I love it. I just love cheaper gloves. 
So yeah, that rant over about price and stuff. Uh, I'm going to tell you my preferred kind of glove. If you look at most of my reviews, you'll see that most of the gloves are either a semi-roll kind of thing, which are these, and the um, Umbro Specialis, although I've got rid of the Umbros because they've started, they've completely wrecked, because I used them for a training session and forgot to wash them, or I prefer Roll Finger. I'm not a big fan of negative. I don't, they just don't feel comfortable to me at all. I don't, yeah, it may be like more latex to ball contact, but I don't think it's even that good, to be quite fair. Yeah. It's getting a more popular mate, more popular cut of glove. Like you'll see quite a lot of goalkeepers in the Premier League nowadays getting gloves with negative cuts. But I'm um, nah, no, I prefer my roll finger. I have since I started goalkeeping. Like when I started properly playing for Nether Green, um, four years ago, well under fifteens, I would use roll finger gloves because they're just I find them more comfortable because I've got. Although I've got quite narrow fingers, I've got quite a broad hand. Like my palm is bigger than some other people's. So the wider fitting glove suits me. And I just, it's more comfortable for me because I like moving my fingers around and being able to move my fingers in the glove. But everyone's got their own opinions. I prefer roll finger, you may prefer negative or even flat cut. But I, I can't throw my own opinion on in on you. Um, and someone, I can't remember who it was, asked me a question yesterday, or um, a couple of days ago I think it was, about is what is my favourite brand of glove. As I mentioned in my rant a minute ago about price, I prefer the cheaper, lesser known companies, obviously I'll death line, just for keepers, uh, top hand goalkeeping, MD, Alert GK, Gcon. Uh, G-Cons um, Reacts, they're all cheaper gloves because they're not as a well-known brand and they're not as, they're not properly established within football but to be honest the gloves are starting to come out I've seen um, one lad plays for Sheffield United he was on the bench against Oldham Athletic the other day, George Willis he has the F-Lines um, I think it's Dan Henderson or Dan, no, Dan Crane who plays for Henderson Town Whereas F lines getting out there just for keepers. I know quite a lot of keepers now who are at quite high level wearing their gloves because they're good. Uh, if I had to say favorite make, it's a I can't I couldn't decide between just for keepers and F line because they've both done so much for me. F line that I. It's a local company, prefer, quite like it, cheap glove, nice, can't argue with it. But I've been with Just For Keepers for five, no, six years now, wow, it's a long time. Six years, and the gloves have just got better and better and better every time I've had them. So if I had to decide, I couldn't decide between those two as being my favourite, but they are, those two are my favourite brands of gloves that I could buy. But, also, uh, final thing. In my video last week, I'll put an annotation somewhere here on the screen. I asked you the question, which I am doing for the giveaway of these gloves. At the moment, I've only had, I think it's five entries. I want to get it up to around um, 15, 20 entries. So I'm currently going to be giving the giveaway two more weeks. I don't know why I've put three things up two more weeks and then if I've not got enough responses by then the people who have answered the question correctly I will be doing the giveaway for them I want to remind you it's at the moment for the first giveaway it's just going to be a uh, United Kingdom based so England Scotland Wales Ireland that that's where I'm basing it at the moment unfortunately I've not got the money to be able to